Hi, this is Taylor Taylor with a DJ tutorial on setting the Pioneer CDJ 2000s with Virtual DJ. In this first video, we're going to look at setting up two Pioneer CDJ 2000s to control Virtual DJ as HID MIDI controllers. In another video, we're going to look at using the full potential of this setup in front of me using the DJM 2000 as well as the CDJ 2000s as a four channel controller. Hardware wise, as well as a laptop, CDJ 2000s of course, all we'll need are two USB cables, one to plug into each CDJ. Software wise, before we can get started, we need to install the CDJ 2000 drivers. Now that I've got those downloaded, I'm going to transfer them onto a USB key and put them onto the DJ laptop. Now that we've found the CDJ2000 drivers on the DJ laptop, we're going to install them. The CDJs plug into the mixer in the standard fashion using two RCA cables. We're going to plug one CDJ into channel 2 of the mixer and the other CDJ into channel 3. Next, the USB cables get plugged in. Okay, the hardware's all plugged in and ready to go, but before we can start Virtual DJ, there's one thing we need to change on the CDJ2000s. We need to tell them to act as a MIDI controller. So to do that, we press Link, and we get the options of Control Mode or DJM2000. That's because I'm hooked in to the DJM2000. We just press OK on Control Mode by clicking the scroll wheel, and then it says on screen, push to connect. So we press it again. We repeat that for the second CDJ, and then we'll be ready to start the software. Before we can start DJing, there are two things we need to set up inside Virtual DJ. The first one is the sound. We need to tell Virtual DJ to use the CDJ 2000s as our sound card. To do that, we go to Config, Sound Setup, we go to Output, External Mixer, Sound Card, ASIO, and then we select Pioneer CDJ ASIO. Press Apply, and that's sorted. Then, we go to Mappers, select Pioneer CDJ 2000 from the list, and then go to the Small Options box next to the word Pioneer CDJ 2000. Click on that, and we need to assign each deck to each virtual deck. There should be two lots of CDJ2000 on the list. Set the first one to deck one, and then go back, click on the box again, and set the second one to deck two. Now we should be ready to start DJing. Now that Virtual DJ started, we can use the CDJ just like we would any other controller. You can see here that I'm just choosing a tune like you would as if you were using the CDJ normally. I'm really impressed with the way the waveform loads and all the cue points are available really easily.